Now this is a guilty pleasure. This is Gauntlet Legends. I absolutely adored playing this when I first had me in 64. It's nothing special really. But um, you know, I love fantasy stuff. Always like Gauntlet. And um, this is just really good fun. So obviously here's, here's a story. Basically there's a big evil demon causing a lot of shit, upsetting a lot of people. And um, you've got to basically stop him. So, let's stop him. So, where to go? That's up here, I think. Oh, look how slow it is. <laughs> right, in we go. You are now entering the Valley of Fire. So this is, basically, this is basically a port of the arcade arcade game that came out and there was two there was Gauntlet Legends and there was another one which was more of an update of the exist of the existing game but I can't for the life of me remember which one came first. I do know though that this is available on the on the Dreamcast as well. So I'd imagine it's gonna look that little bit sharper so I'll be trying to get hold of it, but it seems to be quite rare. Not so much in that it goes for a lot of money, but it's just just seems really hard to get hold of. So you've got um you've got different stats, so armor, maximum health, XP, you obviously you you can go up in levels, which is a nice touch. Enemies are just like in the past where they come in different strengths. Use C buttons to review inventory. Avoid dangerous objects. Yeah, okay mate. And yeah, this is now I remember there's these runes that you have to activate. So yeah, one of the things I like about this game is there's a hell of a hell of a lot of secrets to it. And um it's it's just it's just really good fun. I mean it doesn't really you know, it's it's not groundbreaking by any stretch of your imagination. And you could argue that the graphics even when it first came out, you know, they weren't they weren't that special. But um, you know, I've just got a lot of pleasant memories sitting down with my wife and two mates and just blasting the hell out of anything that was stupid enough to come near me. Again, due to the um, nature of the game, don't forget this is long before Xbox Live and that, where you can obviously just go off wherever you like. You know, when there's four of you playing on a single screen, it all gets a bit hectic. And especially when everybody's intent on going in their own direction. So needless to say, a lot of, there needs to be a lot of arguments playing this. And again, I think you need to tur charge up the turbo attack before you can um, use it again. God, it's taken ages to get to the... Oh, look at her all now! Come to kill me! Die, 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 smelly orcs! Oh, this is not going to end. This is not going to end well for me, I don't think. Oh, look at that. Bit of potion to get rid of them. I'm trying to remember if you actually make any changes when you go up a level or not, or if it's done all automatically. Let's have a quick look. To throw potions, use attack plus magic. Right, um, no. Um, oh, there you go. I've just wasted my magic. <laughs> Brilliant. And I'll just wait for that attack. Oh well, hey ho. Yeah, I think um, as soon as as soon as I've um, I've brought way too many Dreamcast games this month now, but this is going to definitely be the first thing that I pick up next month. I've just forgotten how much good fun it is.
Oh, got some screwed. Right, like the use button. Oh, that's right. Oh, look how fast. No. Now we're getting somewhere. Now she's moving. Oh, I'm certainly low on the old health though. Oh, and I'm at the end of the level. Brilliant. So as you can see, I lost, um, I didn't get all the obelisks and stuff. Little, little nod to Smash TV there. And on we go. Yeah, I've got no idea what this sales for price was on the um, N64. But you know, if you if 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 you're the sort of person who's always got mates over, and you you, you just fancy fancy a bit of fun, I I really recommend that you pick this up. There's even bosses and stuff in it as well. Oh shit! Catch those. Destroy the Dark Man's trunk cover switches. And obviously you've got to be careful because some of these chests will have death in. And just like in the arcade original from 1985, he can't be he can't be killed with conventional means, you need potions to get rid of them. Oh got some health back, nice. Oh, why do I keep on wasting that on one bloke? Look, and look, they're all up here and I just wasted it. Idiot. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, look, there you go, speak to the devil. Good, he's, he's gone. And there's an obelisk. Hmm, got a fun switch. Let's have a little search around, I'm pretty sure that moves around as well later. Let's have a look down there. Oh, bit of meat. Always handy. Rapid fire, thank you very much. There's a the key. Uh, see that there's a there's a switch around there somewhere and I'm bugging if I can find it. Is it down here maybe? Oh no that's not a switch. That's molten lava. Die, 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 die. Okay, and so this is Gauntlet Legends on the N64. I'm Retro Gamer Stan Jones, and I'll be back with a new video very, very soon. See you later, guys, and take care.